Okay, so we're going to look at indicators, uh, KPIs, and uh, what KPIs over time dashboard might look like in OMI. Uh, in this particular example, we're going to look at SiteScope and HPE's OMI. Uh, for versions, we're using 10.11 for OMI, and we're going to be using 11.30 for SiteScope. Uh, and the intent for doing all of this is to produce data in a way that can be consumed by business value dashboard. It's another part of the HPE OpsBridge suite. So first thing we do is we need to start with configuring a KPI. We'll create new. And in this case, we're going to call this storm status. And we will pick a couple of the KPIs, or the business rules, rather. The rest will be out of the box. So now we have storm status. The second step is going to be to create an indicator. In this case, we're going to create a health indicator with an attached or associated event type indicator. And this is a very low level um, metric or indicator that affects the KPIs. So in this case, we will use a infrastructure service and we'll create a new one. And we'll call this storm status. So it's either good or it's not. We're not generating any events and we don't have any other rules. So we'll save that. And then once we've created these indicators on the KPIs, we need this indicator to make its way over to SiteScope. And so the easiest way, you can normally you can wait for the normal uh, sync to happen. Uh, but we want it to go a little faster, so we're going to give it a nudge. So to do that, we'll go ahead and open this up. Kind of work through some of this. Just kind of click the buttons here. You can see it's set for one day right now by default. Look at the health check, and we'll say OK. When this happens, you'll see it running, and this means it's actually doing the synchronization. If we refresh that, you'll see it's done and it's updating. So on the site scope side, what we'll do is create a new group. And we'll just call it Storm for now. And we'll add a monitor. And in this case, we'll pick something easy, uh, representative. Of course, you could use any monitor you want, but we'll pick a ping monitor. And in this case, we will call it um, BGE Storm. And the host that we're going to use to uh, test this against is we're going to use our business value dashboard server. We'll jump down to the threshold settings just to review. Uh, the defaults are fine. The HP integration settings, this is the part where we'll be integrating with OMI. We're going to select infrastructure service, and then we're going to name it the same name that we called at the top there, BGE, <clears throat> BGE Storm. One of these days I'll learn to type. And we'll use a customer of ours as an example organization. And the type we'll call a department. The next we're going to go ahead and add an indicator. In this case, we're going to do the uh, percentage of packets good. And then you can see the indicator has already been populated over from OMI. These are all of the indicators that are associated with this infrastructure service. So we're going to pick storm status and then any other indicators 
uh, wildcard, any other indicators that come from this monitor will be assigned a legacy system. The last thing we'll do is see event mapping. Now we have a custom event mapping. And that event mapping basically just takes this, uh, this name, which is the name of the monitor, and uses that for the node for CI resolution. So we'll verify and save and say OK. And on this side, we'll come over to the RTSM section and we'll need to create a view. And this is how we will group CIs for a visualization on the workspaces side of the, the tool here. Now in this case, we're just gonna copy one site, uh, the, the site connectivity, which is similar CIs in it. And what, to do that, we'll do a save as. And we'll call it storm status. Open it up. Now this is what we're looking for. We, are, we don't have any filters here. And we don't have any filters here. This is where we're doing filters. So in this case, we will come over and look for the right word. Make sure that matches. And there it is. We'll verify the counts. So one and one. We'll take a quick glance at it. And that's pretty much what we're expecting. So now we can save this. Now once the view is created, now we need to go back into the system health and do some uh, assignment. And we'll do that by coming into this KPI and health indicator customizations per CI. We'll select our view that we've just created. And we'll select this top infrastructure service. You can select multiples in here either by control or shift click. So we'll add a KPI. We want storm status. And we want storm status to the health indicator associated with that. And the health indicators from here, we're going to directly assign that storm status and we're going to want it to be based on events. You can do metrics and events if the um, the event returns metrics that you're trying to measure and capture, then you can specify severities here. But for this case, we're going to do events. And on the CI properties, we want to make sure that this box is checked. Save KPI data over time for the selected CIs. That'll let us uh, look at them in dashboards. That's all we need to do on this part. So from here, we can come over to the KPI over time. And we can pick a new Now you'll see that it's not possible to populate it yet because while it knows about the KPIs and the indicators, no events have come in yet to uh, to trigger a status for those CIs. So what we're going to do is come into this into site scope and we'll change one of these operators specifically to trigger a failure and to validate that that failure is there. We'll go to the event perspective. Okay, so we can see the event in, uh, indicator right here. The event type indicator came over. We can see the event uh, and everything looks like it's mapped properly. And now that we do have this event, we can come back to the KPI over time. And you'll see that it's kind of it's kind of shifted a little bit. We can 
select everything. And then over here, we're going to want to go ahead and pick the... Nope, I'll unselect it for now. You'll see storm status. In order to see it in here, uh, in this list, it is possible to see it, you have to um, close the browser and clear your Java cache, and that will allow you to, uh, when you reload it, it will load this for you, and you'll see it in here. Um, but for now, you can see that the storm status is also uh, is uh, lit up on the end here. And we'll go ahead and set it back to normal. And you'll see that the event came in to clear it. It's back to normal. And then the KPI, well, when the next uh, time slot opens up here, it will turn back to green again. And that's it.